At the end of the day, what binds us together, what keeps us up at night and gets us up in the morning, is that we want a better future for our children. We are at a critical time. We have to take action now to ensure that we have a planet that is in balance for future generations. The solutions to our major challenges, in particular in energy, the environment, and healthcare, are being tackled head on. And that is happening right here, right now. The challenges that we face unite us under one common vision. It is a singular focus to make tomorrow better than today. The University of California, Irvine is one of the most successful and exciting research universities in the world. We've grown from a brand new campus 40 years ago to now being included among the elite in multiple areas of science, of humanities, of the arts. And having there be a real culture of working together between the faculty and the students allows for research to happen in a lot more ways than, than you might initially expect. And through this collaboration, researchers at UCI have come up with some, some major world-changing innovations. The University of California, Irvine is known worldwide for its research in advanced energy technologies. Hydrogen represents a paradigm shift that can get us off of fossil fuels and foreign oils and onto a new, cleaner technology. The research we're conducting is helping to answer these key questions and create a better environment for our future. The main focus of our research right now is looking at different environmental issues. I think there's some really interesting points of overlap between things that are good for the environment and also things that are good for, for the way people live their own lives. We're finding new ways to protect our environment and preserve our resources. That's a very challenging objective to try and solve really fundamental science problems to make fundamental breakthroughs in solar. I've always felt really attached to this university. There is a strong bond between the business community and the university here. They're near the epicenter where people feel like they can make a difference. Industry partners are a critical piece of what's happening here at UCI. We have companies involved within the Brent School of Information and Computer Sciences, including Google, Cisco, Microsoft, Blizzard, and this is a mutual relationship where industry puts their research and trust in us, and at the same time, we come back by giving them um, new technologies and new ideas. UCI is often seen as a public university with the feel of a liberal arts college. You can actually feel like you're part of the campus community, like you're an integral part of UCI's advancement, and you're actually taking steps towards creating a bright future for it. Ultimately, it's the students who do a lot of the really great work, and it's their inspiration that helps bring me back for more, because they're, they're excited about the projects we're working on, and that makes it easy for me to be excited about them as well. One of the things that we're most excited about here is our California Institute of Information Technology and Telecommunications, a collaboration with the University of California, San Diego. Live Force at the University of California, Irvine. It is the best TV in the world. It's the highest of high def. 200 million pixels. The image is 100 times sharper than the best high def TV. One of the purposes of this was to build a system where we can see the big picture and the detail at the same time. We've had some uh, some colleagues in the School of Psychiatry set up base camp right here in front of Hyperwall and in fact they claim to have made a discovery that took an hour using Hyperwall that would have taken a year the old-fashioned way. Academic medical centers like ours have a special role in our community and also in medical care across the country. We have the doctors and nurses and the equipment and the techniques to give the best quality health care available anywhere in the world. I had a serious illness that was misdiagnosed for four years by approximately 14 doctors. If I had not gone to UCI, I would not have the quality of life I have today. We have felt compelled to be involved in the fundraising for the new hospital and frankly for the rest of our lives in support both financial and in any other way we can. We're committed to seeing that UCI, that parts of the hospital we don't even know yet are available not only for us but for our friends, our uh, and our unknown friends. 
I know that I had an extraordinary experience at an extraordinary institution and that we're all blessed to have a university hospital in our midst. Taking transformative steps in science requires a lot more than a good idea. It requires a leadership institute that will support young and innovative ideas and it requires bricks and mortar like the Stem Cell Research Center led by the pioneering gift of Sue and Bill Gross. Stem cells are perhaps the greatest breakthrough that medical science has ever known. One cell that can become any tissue type in the human body. One cell that's got the potential to treat every single human disease. This first trip down this lane will pave the way for the subsequent diseases and subsequent applications of stem cells. All those things require a forum. That's what UCI has put together. We really are an engine of innovation and we can see the results of that every day. Together, we're shaping the future of our environment. We're shaping the future of technology. In healthcare and science. We're developing new sustainable energy technologies. Through our research. Through our donors. We're finding new ways to protect the environment and preserve our resources. Through our community. Through our students. Through our alumni. We are united under one common vision. It's a singular focus. To make tomorrow better than today. For this generation. And for generations to come.